Hey there, OneUp Indie here coming with another basics video tutorial about the super interesting topic of structs and later on in a second video about constructors. So the idea is kind of simple. What is it? What's the syntax? How can we use it? Then the naughty list of no-nos not to use and then what is this actually good for? So if you want to join me on this super adventure Oh wow, this is such a dry topic. Then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, well, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel, of course. So, to make this extremely uh, visible, so let's say you create a new object and then you give it a name, then it has a sprite attached, maybe yes, maybe no, then it's visible, then it cuts source events here and there are tons of events then maybe some parents then some physics and what is that stuff and then yeah some plus for children as you can see tons of things are pre uh, front loaded because uh, an instance or the object uh, as an asset in game maker is kind of uh, well busted uh, it's not busted <laughs> it's basically just uh, front loaded with tons of things which you maybe don't need and then a structure would be something like this it has a name and it's empty so it has no x position it has no sprite nothing it's basically just raw data and then if we like we can fill it with our uh, own craziness in there so basically um, you could more or less do the same as this dude here but of course um, you define everything which you like to have so let's go into game maker and make this uh well kind of palatable so the first thing which you need to understand is hey structs need to be created somewhere and then for that we just do it like this so we have those brackets and then we have a different kind of syntax which is called uh, the json standard and then if you're thinking json isn't that that dude with the axe and the hockey mask no <laughs> of course that would be interesting but uh, not completely this is basically json stands for javascript object notation which is the standard file format for human reading hooray for that and basically this is just an independent standard it's basically just a readable standard it's a little bit different than uh, in game maker and therefore a few things concerning the syntax so how it's structured so first thing normally what you do you have a variable name and let's create some weapons because why not and then let's call give it a weapon name then normally you would be equals to i don't know a value this is not how structs works and then game maker will be like what are you doing friend this is not correct and then what we need to have is a color and then the value which could be a number or a string or if you are really funky you can actually create another struct in there. So basically you can create some really uh, nasty nestings. This is how it's called, where you have a, a sub level of a sub level of a sub level into a sub level and going into a sub level to, to the sub level. So basically just choo -choo -choo -choo. and then you can create some monstrosities if you like, please don't. Uh, but of course you can, if you like, but let's keep that simple. So weapon name, let's say we got an X. And then you separate the entries with a regular comma, not with a semicolon like this, a regular column. And then let's give it uh, some weapon damage. Once again, colon, and then, I don't know, let's give it 50 because it's an X. And normally, as a good practice, don't use, the, for example, for the last entry, don't use a comma if you don't want to separate it. But of course, uh, Game Maker won't make any issues. And, if, and now you see like, hey, Game Mac is like, no, 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 still not satisfied with your solutions because you need to give it a name. And then, for example, we just say like, okay, sweet, uh, let's call it weapon X and set it equals to the struct, which is this thing. And this thing is theoretically our lightweight object because in the end, it's, it's just, it is a lightweight object. And then a few things which you need to understand. So let's say you want to access your weapon name. Then you do some chaining. So basically you just go with weapon X and dot weapon name, and then you get the value which you want it 
to have i don't know you can read it out or whatever or for example you can set it to uh, a different name now i don't know something like this and then of course it works but of course you can chain it up so let's say you got a struct into a struct into a struct into a struct into a struct you can do some really wonky things like i don't know a weapon name a sub name and then <laughs> sub sub uh, uh come on sub sub name and then you just chain it with one um, dot after another after another after another so basically these kind of crazy things can actually do exist if you like so this is possible so therefore it's kind of flexible and then you got a, a, a category a higher category and then going to a lower one into a lower one into a lower one this is the idea behind it so this is kind of a flexible system of course now it's gibberish but never mind me and of course uh, one thing which you're not supposed to do so this is the naughty list of no no's you cannot um, put into the structs things which are of global scope and then game maker will do some funky stuff and they just say like hey don't do it because it's forbidden so here it says structs forbidden variables but of course everything else you can input you can even input um, i don't know names of um, your your sprites or some objects if you like or for example some arrays now, everything is legit in there but besides those things because they seem to cause some issues already so this is the one thing and then if you're thinking okay um so why should i use it so let's say you want to grab a specific weapon but you're not sure if you want to grab the the name or let's say the damage of the of the x or of the sword and therefore this variable is the same so boom you can you just hot swap uh, the first part which is then here and then um, as you can see the chaining works pretty good and then you can just uh, get the value or just override it and this is the idea behind it so the usefulness for that is basically that is as a data container uh, faster to read and uh, easier to access and this is basically the whole thing and another thing which is kind of important uh, you cannot do something like this so, so here that stuff operations inside here are not possible at least in this kind of regard so if you are mixing and matching uh, variables in there so this is the other thing already that was it for the crash course of the json format and uh, structs and then in the second part we will do some constructors because then we go into some really funky stuff which is advanced content alrighty hopefully you enjoyed this first part and see you in the next one have a good one one up in